the big reveal since last we spoke roundtable style was the Star Wars teaser. Man, there were it seemed like hundreds of uh, imposter teasers. <laughs> it was that crazy. I mean, it was yeah, amazing it was how like how all those spoofs too like popped up how like quickly. in a day, <laughs> like in an hour. Keep, <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, obviously there are people without jobs. Uh, a lot. Of, <laughs> I mean, one, once once the unemployment rate goes down, you'll see a lot more, a lot fewer of those imposter uh, trailers. Yeah. But, right. Uh, so what did you guys uh, think of the 88 second teaser? Um, I feel like we're in 1977 and not, not 19, 1998. Um, we're in uncharted territory here. Um, mm. we have a we have a clean slate. We get the sequel to the characters that we really cared about, not the backstory that no one at the end of the day really cared about. So I think we're we're in we're in like I think Abrams is is going to give is going to give him the benefit of the doubt because hey, he's going to be create a fresh story here. You have 30 years to play around with that no one knows what's going on. And you just have this, like, fresh start that we didn't get with the prequel trilogy. We got with the prequel trilogy, um, oh, we have to follow these guidelines. And that, that among other things, that really, besides a bad screenwriting and a bad direction, we get a fresh start here. This is what we wanted all along. And I think that shows. Well, can I say something? I, there's a, a friend of mine who uh, is a screenwriter out in uh, L.A. His name is Gary Sherwood. He should really come on the show, by the way, too, because he, he's he's like an expert at James Bond, which we should we should also talk about the James Bond stuff. But oh um, yeah, big. But uh, <clears throat> uh, he posited, he said, okay, what do you think this story is going to be about, just based on this 88-second thing? And he posited the idea that the stormtrooper that we see, uh, 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 John Boyega, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. at the beginning with his helmet off, the black guy, um, he posited, the, he said, the best way for them to go about this story would be to make him an actual stormtrooper, he's a real stormtrooper who is defecting from the Empire to to the Rebel side, because we've yeah. never had it could a be. story like that. If he said he said if if it becomes a movie where he's he's one of the rebels and and so forth and so on, then we've already seen that kind of movie. This is a different kind of thing. He said he said. I think this would be the, and I think he's right. I think this would be the best way for this. I mean, it's film not. To it's go. not the only. It's not the only way to make a difference. No, it's story. not the only way. It's an interesting but, take on it. But you know, it's it is interesting. And since I asked about what we think of the actual teaser, it is interesting that people can come up with their own theories based upon a series of five or six shots, which is mm-hmm. all the, all the teaser is. Um, because I mean, the first impression that I have, and the most lasting one, is that it is what a teaser should be. It it only teases you, and and right. and you leave it. You leave it first of all wanting to see more, and feeling like you you haven't seen nearly enough to form a impression of what to expect. Mm-hmm. And that's you know that's what it should do. A full exactly. trailer will, will a full trailer will come out uh, on the Avengers over the summer. Right. Is when we'll see the next one. So. Yeah, no, I I think it does. It's perfect for that, and it gives a lot of people, you know, you know, you know, I've seen a lot of artwork and everything over the last week, and, and you're right, it teases. It doesn't mean you want more. What more? I mean, it works. It works. Do, it does what it's supposed to do. Here's a couple of questions. A couple of questions to ask about it. Do you think the little R two D two soccer ball character is going to overcue it? <laughs> okay, that's my first question. In fact, it's overcute. Is that what you asked? Overcute. Yes. <laughs> oh. And do do you think that uh, do you share the uh, reservations that so many goofy fans have about the three tiered uh, lightsaber? <laughs> well, I mean, I think they haven't gotten laid, and they're worried about a top. Yeah, table. but they. they the I lightsaber. I mean, I, I I don't I don't foam at the mouth over those details. But the lightsaber is kind of odd. I I, I don't know what what practi- practical uses the side uh, beams have to do. 
uh, other than other than give the lightsaber the appearance of being a cross, like a, some kind yes. of religious symbolism. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think, and, and I think who do we think that is? Do we think that's Adam Driver, or do we think that's Gwendolyn I think so. Christie? Or is it Gwendolyn Christie? Oh, uh, it looks like a drone. Yeah, I don't think. I think it's. I think it's probably Adam Driver because it, it's a tall car- actor, very tall. So uh, that was well, Adam, Adam Driver. Gwendolyn Christie is not short. From my, you know. Did you notice that there wasn't a lens flare in sight? Uh, oh yeah, Gwendolyn Christie. <laughs> Thank God. Six... I mean, guys are going on. Look, I... maybe you're right about Gwendolyn Christie. I'm looking her up. And she's six foot three. Wow. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna tell her she's short. <laughs> I don't want to lose my nuts. <laughs> what about wow, George? You're right. In that black room. I mean, that, would, that would be. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. <laughs> Look, the trailer has made so many people happy. I mean, and it and it does, and it shows so much less than the Phantom Menace trailer in November of 1998. I'm I'm so thankful for it mm. showing so less. There's not a line of dialogue spoken. First of all, and that's a good sign right there. Um, oh, do you think this boy is any dangerous? No, shut up! Um, you know, and, and there was, I mean, I guess people have to fill copy. I mean, they have to write an article around the yeah. teaser, so they got to come up with stuff to write about. But of it's course. 88 seconds, guys. It's not like, you know, you're not supposed to be able to tell tell the future like Nostradamus when you see this 88 second preview. But it is interesting <laughs> how many people, you got how many people, people like, like You got people like looking at the frame and like, what is all that stuff in the background and stuff yeah, like analyzing yeah. every mean, single thing in it. You can analyze, analyze, like I mentioned before, analyze the Zapruder film. 